Hi and welcome to the Cancelled News. I'm Adam Yenser and I hope everyone is having a wonderful winter of severe illness and death. Uh, please be sure to like and subscribe. I just passed 2,000 subscribers, so thank you to everyone who's been watching, and especially thank you to my 2,000th subscriber, Sam Sheppers, who wrote Youth Minister for the Catholic Church right here, I'm very offended, and I just subscribed. I want to make a joke out of that, but he's a youth minister for the Catholic Church. I don't know how you'd make a joke out of that. Uh, now here's what's in the news. Madame Tussauds Wax Museum in New York has unveiled a new wax figure of Joe Biden, which surprisingly isn't just a melted candle. The Biden statue looks so real, in fact, that parents are telling their little girls not to get too close to it. And just like the real Joe Biden, the wax figure is located in a fake pretend set designed to look like the Oval Office. In addition to printing more money, the Federal Reserve is considering issuing a new digital currency. I've also heard that Joe Biden has asked the Federal Reserve to just print him more approval points. This past Monday was Martin Luther King Jr. Day, but wouldn't you know it, a white stole all the attention. The company producing Tom Cruise's upcoming movie announced plans to open a movie studio in space in 2024 that would orbit 260 miles above the Earth, which means if you stack 269,000 Tom Cruises on top of each other, it would reach the roof of the studio's current building. A six-year investigation found that the person who likely revealed Anne Frank's hideout to the Nazis was a Jewish notary named Arnold Vandenberg and not, as this meme suggests, her crunching Doritos. But those Nazis must have been so disgustingly hateful to go through all the trouble of getting in her house. I mean, when I tried to go to Anne Frank's house, the line was like four hours long. They could have just given up and gone to the Van Gogh Museum down the street. A rare blanket octopus was caught on video in the wild in Australia. It was immediately pepper sprayed and arrested for violating the lockdowns. The blanket octopus is a unique species in which the female grows up to six feet and the male is only 2.4 centimeters. They're like the Zendaya and Tom Holland of the animal kingdom. For some reason, it's always easy to make short jokes about Toms, like Tom Cruise and Tom Holland and Tom Thumb. Gary Chambers, a Louisiana Democrat who is running for Senate, released a campaign ad where he's smoking marijuana. The theme of the ad is that at this point, you'd have to be high to keep voting for Democrats. Pet stores in Hong Kong are planning to kill 2,000 hamsters that tested positive for COVID to keep them from transmitting it to humans, which is tragic. If little kids bought those hamsters and took care of them, they could have lived another week or two. The government has provided the stores with 2,000 toilets to help dispose of the hamsters. Cracker Barrel was ordered to pay a Tennessee man $9.4 million after he was accidentally served a glass of cleaning chemicals. Apparently he had actually ordered a glass of sweet cleaning chemicals. The victim suffered burns to his mouth and esophagus and had to be rushed to the hospital without finishing his peg game. A 28-pound Maine Coon may soon break the Guinness World Record for the largest cat and grown men who wear masks while by themselves are tied for the world's biggest pussy. Athletes traveling to the Olympics in Beijing are being warned to leave their smartphones at home to prevent China from spying on them. Coincidentally, TikTok has just launched the Bring Your Smartphone to the Olympics Dance Challenge. Machine Gun Kelly, who recently proposed to Megan Fox, designed her engagement ring to be painful when you take it off as opposed to his music, which is painful when you put it on. The president of the University of Michigan was fired for having an inappropriate relationship with another university employee. According to the university's current diversity policy, a relationship is considered inappropriate if it's heterosexual. During a podcast, Dwayne Johnson revealed that he has a $31 million Tyrannosaurus Rex skull in his living room marking the first time a rock has purchased another rock. A massive underwater volcano exploded near Tonga last weekend, causing tsunami warnings in the U.S., but just like the 2020 election, the giant blue wave they predicted never happened. A fashion designer is suing Lego for illegally replicating one of his leather jackets for its Queer Eye for the Straight Guy Lego set. The Queer Eye set is like other Legos, except the bricks only have studs, no holes. The town of Sunnyvale, California has been overrun by crows. 
So just like Los Angeles and San Francisco, their murder rate is out of control. Matt Walsh, the bearded man on the left in this picture, went on Dr. Phil and stumped two transgender activists by asking them the simple question, what is a woman? He then stumped Dr. Phil by asking the simple question, what is a real doctor? Investigators in Canada are trying to figure out who burned down a multi-million dollar mansion that belonged to the owner of Pornhub. They've started by looking for anyone whose internet searches include Pornhub and have narrowed it down to 7 billion people. CNN said earlier this week that they are hiring a three-person team to combat misinformation. And I have some breaking news right now. CNN just announced their misinformation team will consist of George Washington, Sherlock Holmes, and Sasquatch. In a new interview, Bono revealed that he has never liked the band name U2. Me too. Specifically, Bono said he finds the name embarrassing. So man, wait till he hears their terrible music. Due to the Omicron surge, White Castle has canceled its annual Fine Dining Valentine's Day event. But due to the crime surge, you can still get stabbed at Popeye's. Former Pope Benedict is being accused of misconduct for failing to take action against several reported cases of abuse in the Catholic Church. Which is hard to believe. I mean, he looks like such a nice guy. That one's for you, Sam Shepers, youth minister for the Catholic Church.